Yeso's new Gold Road chapter is currently being tested on the PTS, and one of the things I noticed right away is that the new sets we're getting in this release are actually really good. Each set has something useful to offer, and there's something here for everyone, which is why I wanted to update you on these powerful new sets in this video. One set in particular looks absolutely insane, but we'll get to that one in just a minute. So if you don't know how it works, Gold Road is going to be a new chapter release for the Elder Scrolls Online, which means we'll be getting three new Overland sets, three new crafted sets, four new trial sets, which also include perfected versions, as well as three interesting new mythic items, which I'll be covering completely in this video. Timestamps will be provided down below if you want to skip to or rewatch a section. And we also have a complete list of all Gold Road sets over on our website, that's hacktheminotaur.com. Link for that will be down below. And if you like this type of content and want to stay up to date with all things ESO, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Tons more videos on the way, including updated builds and guides for ESO. But let's start with the most basic options first. Those are going to be the Overland sets coming in the Gold Road chapter. Now these you can pick up from Delves. You'll be able to get from the new public dungeons coming in Gold Road. You can get these from world bosses and these will be tradable as well. So even if you don't buy Gold Road right away, you'll be able to get these from guild traders. Starting off, we have Symmetry of the Wield. This is a light overland set. It gives you two bonuses for weapon and spell damage. We have a crit chance bonus. And then the five piece adds 200% status effect chance while your health is above 50% and adds 10% healing done while your health is below 50%. This will be a good option if you don't have or don't want to run a charge weapon on your front bar, and especially if you don't want to use a destruction staff. Next up is Macabre Vintage. This is the medium armor overland set, and this one actually looks pretty fun. Gives you a ton of weapon and spell damage, and for the five piece, even more weapon and spell damage, but lets you explode enemies in a burst of blood magic, dealing up to 50% of their max health as damage once you kill them. Uh, this looks insane for, let's say, grinding enemies, leveling up your champion points, maybe even PvP, and definitely see some fun builds with this, and I love the theme of this overall, maybe on a vampire build as well, definitely something I will be checking out. Then there's the Heavy Overland set, Aeliad Refuge, this gives you max stamina, two max health bonuses, and while blocking an attack, reduces your damage taken by 11% for three seconds, so it's gonna be a nice basic tanking set. Up next, let's talk Gold Road Crafted sets, these obviously will be tradable as well, uh, so if you know somebody who is a crafter, you'll be able to pick these up also, even if you don't craft yourself. But first up, Highland Sentinel. This gives a ton of crit chance. Two, three, four piece bonuses for those. And then for the fifth piece, while in combat, each second you stand still grants you a stack of Sentinel's Eye every one second, up to 10 stacks. And each stack increases your critical chance by 468. Now this is a ton of crit chance. Once you get this fully stacked and even then considering the two through four piece bonuses, we're looking at close to like 30% bonus crit chance on your build, but there is a downside. Each second you move removes half of your stacks of Sentinel's Eye. So that means if you move for just a second, you're gonna lose half of your stacked crit chance value. So you're gonna have to be able to stay stationary basically uh, for this set to work. So. Pretty specific use case, but I could see a lot of builds be able to use this, and this should be really good for parsing. You don't have to move when you use the trial dummy, so you should be able to get some insane numbers using this new crafted set. Next up, we have Theriker's Strike, another crafted set. This gives you a lot of weapon and spell damage. And then for the five piece, dealing damage with a fully charged heavy attack grants you major berserk for four seconds. That increases your damage done by 10%. So kind of nice to see a heavy attack set get added to the game. This is something new for heavy attack builds. Now, is Major Berserk better than, let's say, Sergeant's Mail? Not sure exactly. I'm gonna have to test those numbers and see which one comes out on top. But this is a nice addition to those heavy attack builds, giving you another option to increase your damage. Then the final crafted set is called Threads of War. This gives you max stamina, weapon and spell damage, and max magicka. And then for the five piece, your light and fully charged heavy attacks gain 100% status effect chance. Status effect is based on the damage type of your weapon. So another status effect focused set getting added to ESO. So this is another great option if your build heavily leans into those different status effects. 
But next up, let's talk about trial sets. So these are only going to be available through the new trial coming in Gold Road called Lucent Citadel. We have four different base trial sets. So you've got Stam DPS, Mag DPS, Tank, and then a fourth healer set. And then obviously there's perfected versions. So if you're playing the veteran version of that trial, you can pick up those perfected pieces. Those just have one additional fifth piece bonus something like Extra Max Magicka, for example. First up, let's talk Light Armor and Zoran's Masterpiece. This gives you Max Magicka, Minor Aegis, Magicka Recovery, and then for the five piece, increases your Max Magicka and Max Stamina by 1667 for you and up to 11 other group members within 28 meters. So this is a nice support set. We have a set like this already in the game that gives your group max health. So this obviously is just the stamina and magicka version of that, which is really nice. And I think you'll definitely want somebody running this in trials. But the next light set is called Mora Scribe's Thesis. This gives you crit chance, minor slayer, max magicka, and increases your crit chance by 128 for every major buff active on you up to 1536 crit chance and increases your critical damage done by 1% for every minor buff, up to 12% crit damage done. So those are some really good numbers on the crit chance and the crit damage. So you'll need about 12 major buffs active uh, to achieve the maximum here. It should be pretty doable for most organized trial groups at least. The set is similar to Sulzan, but it's nice that you should be able to get the effect up more often as long as you and your group are maintaining those buffs. And then we have the medium trial set, Slivers of the Null Arca. This one gives crit chance, minor slayer, crit chance again, and then dealing critical damage gives you a stack of sliver for 10 seconds. You can only gain one stack every 0.5 seconds, but when you gain your third stack, the stacks are consumed and crystals launch at the last enemy you damaged. That's going to deal physical damage based off your weapon or spell damage. So this is a proc set, obviously. Now we'll have to see how the numbers compare to something like Arms of Reliquin. Will this replace Reliquin? Probably not, but we'll see. And finally, we have the heavy armor trial set called Lucent Echoes. This adds healing taken, minor Aegis, max health, and for the five piece, while you have more than 50% health, increases the critical damage and healing of your group by 15%. That's a huge value. Group members wearing Lucent Echoes can't benefit from the effect. That's fine because you're a tank. You don't need the uh, increased crit damage. But while you have 50% or less health, reduces your damage taken from monsters by 20%. This set seems insane to me, both for you know group utility and for damage reduction for the person wearing it. It seems like a really great set to have in your group, not just for trials, but even maybe for four-man dungeons. Of course, don't forget, you will have access to perfected versions of these same four trial sets. That's if you complete the uh, Lucent Citadel on veteran mode. But let's talk about the mythics next. There are actually three new mythics coming to the Gold Road chapter. All of these are pretty interesting, starting with what's called Shadow Queen's Cowl. This is a light helmet uh, one piece set. It is a mythic, so you need antiquities maxed out to complete this. But check out this bonus. While crouched, you can see witnesses and guards through walls, and successfully pickpocketing a witness or guard applies distracted for 10 seconds, which stuns your target. Your detection radius and stealth also decreases by 30 meters against distracted targets. So this is a mythic item purely focused around, you know, stealing. Pretty interesting. And this should be actually an amazing addition if that's how you like to play ESO. If that's your thing, you definitely want to check out this mythic. Next up, we have a neck piece. This is called the Saint and Seducer. While in combat, you gain one of five random major buffs, which changes every 10 seconds. Enemies within 12 meters of you gain one of five random minor debuffs, depending on which buff you have. So you get a buff, enemies around you get debuffed, and here are the pairs that are random. So Major Berserk and Minor Maim, Major Resolve and Minor Breach, Major Force and Minor Brittle, Major Evasion and Minor Vulnerability, and then Major Courage and Minor Cowardice. So overall, I think the buffs are really good. I mean, Major Resolve might be one that you probably already have. Maybe they could swap that with something else. But everything else looks very good. And even the minor debuffs look helpful. Honestly, though, I don't know what the audience uh, or the playstyle is for this type of mythic. 
mean, it seems a little bit too random for like organized groups. So would this be for maybe PVP, maybe Battlegrounds? I'm not sure. Let me know what you think about this one down in the comments section. Uh, but the last mythic item seems really powerful uh, and really good for a specific type of builds, mainly tanks, I think. It's called Rorkin Steam Guards. And basically, when you activate block while in combat, you get this effect called Steam Guardian for a half second. This reduces your damage taken by 99%. Uh, there is a cooldown, though, 10 second cooldown. But if you actually do use it to effectively block an attack, it reduces that cooldown to five seconds. So five seconds for a 99% block. Uh, this would be very good for tanks in some specific trials against specific bosses where you know the mechanics really well and there's those high damage heavy attacks. This could be really, really powerful. But if you'd like to check out all these sets, again, organized and in detail, there will be the link down below for the ESO Gold Road written guide. Make sure you check that out. And if you haven't seen the changes to classes, coming in Gold Road, and specifically the new update for Werewolves, make sure you check that out. I have a full video on that. And just a heads up that we are still rolling out our members-only build updates here on YouTube, where members of our Tier 2 Elite Squad get access to unique off-meta builds like our No Class Skills Barbarian setup. This build has always focused on just two-handed abilities, zero class skills, so you can play it on any class you want, and it feels like a completely unique playstyle. Well, now we've included a version of the build that utilizes scribing and the new two-handed ability called Smash, which makes this build even more fun to play and insanely powerful because you basically now have an AoE cleave-based spammable that does more damage than Brawler, but you can also put multiple effects on it, like a heal based on the targets that you hit plus Minor Berserk. So if that sounds interesting to you, just click on that join button down below for more information, or you can click on the members link in the description to see all of our members only builds and guides, plus our other perks like our members only Discord. But thanks again for watching, and I will see you around in the next video.